Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is the International Council for Small Business, ICSB, and my name is Ayman Karabishi. I am the president and CEO of ICSB. We are just delighted to be here today with our colleagues from Virginia Tech. This is a very innovative webinar today, and also another issue of the podcast that we do. This today, and with our webinar and podcast, we're innovating it as well, and better to innovate with, with our dear colleague and board member and professor at San Diego State University, Dr. Alex De Noble. I think he's back in his home university where he all started here. So uh, the universe is aligning and we thought this would be a wonderful webinar and podcast to have Alex to share with some exciting news and, and innovations that Virginia Tech is doing. Dr. Alex, greetings, how are you? And well, thank you, Ayman. It's a, it's a pleasure to be doing this podcast with you. And look at me, I'm sitting here uh, at Virginia Tech, and this is where it all started for me. And, and um, uh, I received my training from here and left here with my PhD in 1983. And took a job at San Diego State, and uh, that was 39 years ago. And uh, we're here today uh, because of uh, a model program that, um, uh, it's an award that USASB runs, and, and it really is designed to single out uh, schools that are making an exceptional impact in entrepreneurship education. And uh, so I have been invited to come back here by my good friends, Devi and Chi, um, to be part of a very special celebration uh, as Virginia Tech is the most recent award recipient for the Model Entrepreneurship Program of the Year. And I'm so proud of what this university has done and as a model program, they need to be sharing uh, uh, some of the unique aspects of their program that others can build off of uh, to, to strengthen entrepreneurship education around the world. So I am here today with depart management department chair, uh, Dr. Devi Ganwale and uh, Dr. Chi Tseng. Um, these are... Uh, two people that were integral to Virginia Tech's award. So uh, I'd like them to share a little bit about um, what are some of the unique aspects of Virginia Tech's program in entrepreneurship that makes it so special. Um, thank you. Thank you, Alex. It's so wonderful to have you here. Yeah. I'm, I'm super excited that the, uh, the opportunity came for us to host you here at Virginia Tech. Um, very exciting time, and we really appreciate your coming. And thank you, Ayman, uh, for actually bringing us together. Um, and uh, I'm super excited about this opportunity, as well as uh, uh, getting uh, to attend uh, ICSB, the upcoming ICSB meeting. Um, uh, really appreciate the opportunity here. Um, what, what makes us unique? Uh, obviously, a couple of things. I, I, I would start with the breadth and depth of programming that we have. Uh, the breadth meaning it's an ecosystem of entrepreneurship efforts that starts with uh, uh, the, the primarily the education as the as, as a university, a land grant institution with a, with a mission to educate and and help um, uh, people uh, within the Commonwealth of Virginia and beyond. Uh, we have a very strong uh, undergraduate program starting with freshman year called Innovate Living Learning Community. Uh, students, about 125 or so students, get admitted on a competitive basis. They come and stay in the living learning community. Uh, they take a management course as an integral part of that. And then they do lots of other co-curricular, non-curricular kind of uh, programming and events during the year. And, uh, and then students can be from any major, any, uh, uh, any uh, college or department or major at Virginia Tech who will be admitted to that. So that's just the beginning of, of the entrepreneurship uh, program for any incoming freshman student. 
We also have uh, the, uh, the other one, which if students are not part of Innovate, then they're going to take another management course, which is called Foundations of Entrepreneurship. So students, uh, that course is open to any student at Virginia Tech, regardless of their major. And it also counts for pathway general mm, education. Yeah. So it's very appealing. Yeah. It's a course uh, that has, that has uh, had hundreds of students every semester. We started yeah. with uh, one section, now we're like four sections a, a semester with a hundred or so students yeah. per section. Uh, and then we have uh, the, the multiple courses. I won't get into the details of the courses, but there are courses that range from social entrepreneurship to technological entrepreneurship to global entrepreneurship. So, and, then, uh, and then a capstone course, obviously that brings all this together. We also have a course that is actually interdisciplinary uh, course with uh, engineering, College of Engineering and, and the, uh, Design, two yeah. different colleges and uh, the academic home of that is management. So we teach that course for a very diverse group of students. Um, if they are not in our entrepreneurship major, we also have an entrepreneurship major uh, specialization in entrepreneurship. Uh, and then we also have an interdisciplinary minor in entrepreneurship. Yeah. So that's just the academic side of right. it. Right. So I, I really wanted to get into this mm -hmm. with you a little bit mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, uh, what makes a program uh, impactful mm -hmm. is when you can combine a strong academic curriculum. Right. Uh, and, and here at Virginia Tech and at at, 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 at other schools, the emphasis is on having a strong academic mm -hmm. curriculum. But then what's really important is to solidify that with a complementary co-curricular activities. Right. Can you tell me, the, uh, Chi, can you tell us a little bit about sure, what are sure. we doing in a co-curricular? Yes, way? thanks, Eli and Eamon for helping Virginia Tech. So I have the four additional uh, that are common about our uh, that the model mm -hmm. program will work. The first is that we have outstanding alumni. <laughs> Alice is a model. Okay. <laughs> Thank and you, uh, Yeah, second, we have excellent students. Yeah, I, uh, I saw the so many excellent students involved in entrepreneurship program, activity, and this all the future, the, 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 the future business mm -hmm. become a future leader. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the third, we have a comprehensive uh, that, uh, entrepreneurship ecosystem. Yes. So in addition to management, uh, well, our, uh, our entrepreneurship program, major and minor, we also have the, the other ecosystem include big lunching and uh, license and lunch uh, center in a way uh, uh, that the community, living community, uh, mm -hmm. that the uh, 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 center, and we have Apex Center, we have the other program. We also have innovation campus. So, yeah, yeah I, I, and, and I really want to get into this a bit because um, uh, Virginia Tech does have a very strong co-curricular mm -hmm. set of activities to complement the academic program. But what I think is really exciting, and I'd like you to share with our audience, um, tell us about this upcoming innovation district um, and what's happening around, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, what is Virginia Tech doing in innovation? Uh, yeah, um, the, we, we have actually in Blacksburg, which is our home uh, campus, primary campus, uh, Blacksburg, Virginia, we have what we call an innovation district. Uh, uh, in uh, on campus, which has which has the living learning community I just mentioned, the innovate living learning mm -hmm. community for entrepreneurship. Then we have two other living learning communities in that that kind of span arts, music, and 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 sciences. And they also have just like what you have mm -hmm. in in your lab and center the the um, uh, prototype development lab. Prototype kind of they have facility right. for that. So so that that that's what Innovate LLC is. And then um, the Apex Center does the programming for any student that are mm -hmm. not in that mm -hmm. LLC or even those in LLC could actually join Apex Center. Apex Center does the non-curricular, co-curricular kind of programming in entrepreneurship while we do in Department of Management, we do the curricular part of it completely. Mm -hmm. And Department of Management is the academic home at Virginia Tech or a hub at Virginia Tech for all mm -hmm. entrepreneurship yeah. efforts, right? Yeah. So Apex Center uh, does the competitions, does the, has the accelerator program, 
and has uh, guest speakers and an outstanding advisory board that actually mentors students and things like that. And Alex, you will go and visit them later yeah, today I, and I tomorrow. Am so looking forward um, to And then the See innovation you. campus, which is brand new Virginia Tech initiative, and in fact, a Commonwealth of Virginia uh, initiative in Northern Virginia in Arlington, um, Arlington, Alexandria area, uh, is, uh, is a complex that is Originally, it came with the uh, Commonwealth of Virginia and Amazon uh, agreement to produce for their Amazon HQ, second headquarters uh, in Virginia. So it came with that idea. So there's a package of things, Virginia Tech and the Commonwealth of Virginia mm. and Amazon agreed upon. And then a key component of that is develop the manpower that Amazon will need. And then the, the ecosystem surrounding Amazon will need in Northern Virginia. And then a, obviously a key component of that would have to be entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and innovation activities themselves. Right. right uh, so right. Um, we, we uh, as the innovation campus building is being built and then this, the things have been are being established, we are in conversation, exploratory kind of process to figure out how we can help from the standpoint of entrepreneurship education so that there's an ecosystem, the entrepreneurs grow there, innovators actually thrive through the academic and other aspects of it through the curricular and the uh, broader business community there, as well as Commonwealth of Virginia benefit from the innovation and entrepreneurship programming in, in uh, beyond our yeah, campus here yeah. to Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia programs are uh, yet to be developed because it just, as you know, it's, it's fairly new. Yeah. Uh, but we'll be working closely with them, uh, at we meaning Virginia Tech Campus Resources, uh, Blacksburg Resources, we'll be working closely with them. See, uh, see what, I, what I really want to try to emphasize to our global audience, uh, I, mean, I mean, you can hear the excitement, the enthusiasm, the heart uh, of what, what one school is putting into their program, and, and, and this is, this is, this is what we all do that makes our community of entrepreneurship educators and researchers um, so special because we learn from each other. And what I wanted our audience, our ICSB audience to hear and, and, and understand is that here's a school that is developing their programs. Uh, they're making an impact not only in their local community, but much broader base. And it's, and it's so consistent with the new AACSB standards mm -hmm. of making a social impact uh, through your education and your activities. So I would invite people um, to, as you're working to develop your programs, to uh, learn from other model programs. And that's the whole purpose of this award to showcase model programs that can be, uh, that can be an idea generator uh, for our global community of entrepreneurship yeah. educators uh, and researchers. I would love to provide a little highlight of the research side, which yeah. I have not oh, talked about. Please yet. do, right. yeah. please do. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we have really top scholars, um, uh, of world class scholars who actually won uh, best paper awards and top journals in entrepreneurship and regularly published. Uh, so, actually, uh, about two years ago, uh, we we were recognized for the best research coming from an uh, entrepreneurship center. Um, and mm -hmm. Rick Hunt and David Townsend yeah. are, yeah. are uh, academic and, and research directors of the uh, Epic Center. They are management faculty, but they're also direct, they're directors for the mm -hmm. academic and research part of the Epic Center's work. And then we work closely with them because they're our faculty and right. work, work with Epic. And uh, we also have uh, people like Chi, who is in our collegiate professor, uh, put, uh, associate collegiate, uh, collegiate professor position, who is who has mission to both handle the educational part, including exciting students and things like that, and also do research yeah. that will be more applied research in nature. So, and he can talk a little bit about the research. He's having his own students in, in classes. What, what in his you, class what are you do. having the students doing? Yes, actually, that student that was in society, really interested mm -hmm. in uh, we call undergraduate student research in my mm -hmm. class. 
Mm -hmm. And they have the research project. They have the uh, uh, that uh, I actually they 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 are writing the whole entrepreneurship research paper, and I collaborate with mm -hmm. them, and mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and we're editor. And then in the future, we'll submit to the ICSB exactly. to the other conference. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. This, yeah. And this I is, this, like is, also, this is great. Yeah. This is so great. We are excited now here to have the Dean of Virginia Tech School joining us here as part of the Imagine podcast. Uh, he was able to give us some of his time today in his busy schedule to stop by or drop by to say hi to the ICSB community, global community, and also talk a little bit in our Imagine podcast about the award that Virginia Tech won here. So um, it is a delight and an honor to have you here uh, with us in the Imagine podcast. How's your day going so far? Uh, I'm in my day is going great. And, mm -hmm. you know, any day when uh, you get uh, recognized for your work in entrepreneurship and you have colleagues around you who are interested in that field, is a, it's a great day. Wonderful. So you know, Virginia Tech won a very prestigious award from the SASB, which is the Model Program Award for Entrepreneurship Education, which is amazingly a model program here. A model program exhibits excellence and leadership. And your role as both in a leadership position as the dean of school and, and also striving for excellence. Can you tell me a little bit about the program itself from, from a dean's perspective, why this is important to, you, to your portfolio of initiatives that you are doing? Yeah, I think it's important to start at the, the question of why. And, you know, we, um, if you go back even a, a decade, uh, Virginia Tech didn't have nearly the resources dedicated to entrepreneurship or the, the faculty and staff you know, to provide entrepreneurship education and experiences as it does today. And we feel like entrepreneurship is the way that um, many people get an opportunity for uh, a livelihood. It's, it's a, the best way for people, maybe through generations, to create wealth. It's a, it's a way for us to bring innovation out um, in our everyday lives, in our economies. Um, and it's a way to, to have jobs in places like we are here in Southwestern Virginia, where there aren't a lot of Fortune 500 companies or any Fortune 500 companies. So, um, you know, entrepreneurship is for many people, it's, it's not just an education or a job, it's, it's really a way of life. And so I, I think what uh, our management department has done, what our um, APEX Center for Entrepreneurs, our uh, Corporate Research Center, and so many other components of Virginia Tech has done, is really given people, uh, including our students, opportunities to learn about and understand entrepreneurship and also to practice entrepreneurship. So that's, I think that's the why. Hmm. Excellent answer. Now the world has done some transformation with COVID-19. I think you, li you lived the process of going from in-person to online and now we're coming back. But coming back is not business as usual. You, you, it's not the same formula. Yeah. And, 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 and now you have and what I call, based on our upcoming World Congress, what we call the entrepreneurial revolution. And I'm looking around here and I think Debbie's nodding his head and she's nodding his head because there are revolutionaries as well with Alex here. Hmm. How, how do you take this energy of success and redefine the future of Virginia Tech in Blackbird and the students, the ecosystem that you're on? What, what is your vision for the future on this idea? Well, I think, you know, the students already come with that enthusiasm, the ones who know even a little about entrepreneurship because they can look to uh, entrepreneurs that they've read about and they, they feel are really exciting and they see what they've done through their, their products and their lives. Um, so there's a lot of enthusiasm there. We expand that to other students um, by bringing in faculty who've had that type of experience or do that kind of research, but also we bring in entrepreneurs um, some of them alumni, some not. Uh, it seems like so many of today's entrepreneurs want to share entrepreneurship with today's students, and they want to build on that success that they've had for future generations. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's really the people who are doing this that um, take that lifestyle and show it to other people, including our current students, 
Um, and that's that's what's really exciting. Mm, that's wonderful. You have an alumni sitting next to you here, so I'm going to hand it over to Alex to ask you the last question. Well, Dean Summercrest, I mean, it's uh, um, we we didn't overlap. I mean, and uh, you've been here for a while, and uh, you know, my my time here, I left in 1983, but to see the impact that uh, you have made and what the school has evolved into um, is just a joy to see. And um, it does have that model program element to it. So um, I hope that from a, from a university leadership perspective that the university does continue to invest in, in entrepreneurship. But I'd like you to give us your take on this upcoming innovation district. I mean, what did, I mean, how did that, I mean, I know that's a long story and we're doing a close here, but, but give us just a taste of what that innovation district is going to mean for the community. Well, so we have in Blacksburg something, something we call the creativity and innovation district. Um, we have in Northern Virginia, something we call the innovation campus. And so really entrepreneurship and innovation programs are throughout the state and, and Virginia Tech wants to support them wherever they need to be. If you look at the innovation, the creativity and innovation uh, district here in Blacksburg, that's a, a combination of things in a, a pretty large and very new structure. So we have things like the um, Innovate, it's the name of a living learning community we've created for students who are interested in becoming entrepreneurs or who just want to learn about entrepreneurship. And that community of well over 100 students works in interdisciplinary teams. They have maker spaces available to them. They have uh, mentors in the form of uh, existing entrepreneurs available to them and faculty available to them. And it, it really helps generate that interest uh, in that lifestyle of entrepreneurship. And then up in Northern Virginia, we, do, we don't yet have it. I mean, it's gonna open <laughs> in a couple of years, yeah. but we have the innovation campus coming and some of that's gonna be dedicated to um, formal uh, learning programs. We'll have uh, master's degrees in engineering and computer science up there. Um, but we'll also have uh, faculty from other colleges and we'll, we'll have, uh, we're building a strong presence with the uh, innovative companies up there, whether they're existing companies or whether they're startups. Um, you know, we really are going to build a, um, a presence with the entrepreneurship community up there and, and help, help expand it. So, I, you know, I think, you know, the, the desire to have Virginia Tech continue to invest in entrepreneurship um, I think there's no question we're going to continue to do that. See that when you hear that from a faculty member in entrepreneurship, when you hear that from the leadership, that's what encourages um, uh, faculty to uh, and staff and 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 other stakeholders to really want to get behind it, and that's what makes it so special. No, I agree. Yeah, I agree. You know, thank you, absolutely. Um, well, we're having our ICSB World Congress in Washington, D.C., and, and we talked to Debbie, and he's sending a, a delegation from Virginia Tech there. So we, we welcome you all to come to us there. And as I, as I mentioned to Debbie here, entrepreneurship now is just not a local area. This is a global topic here. And with that, we are going to have actually a session at the United States Congress to talk about the future of entrepreneurship here. So we, we welcome you all to join us there and also to be part of the ICSB global community. Thank you very much, uh, Dean Roberts Summercrest, and we appreciate your time here. And I think this was most probably the most pleasant conversation you're gonna have today with us here. <laughs> <laughs> with that, but I wanna, I wanna thank Debbie and Chi and Alex for your time here. And I, maybe I'll leave you with the last word if you'd like to share with the ICSB community. Uh, I think uh, you know, yeah, I, you know, I just am amazed at what uh, people who are entrepreneurs have done with their lives and just really feel confident about the future of entrepreneurship in, in part because of things we're doing here 
at Virginia Tech, the, the ecosystem we built, but also looking at other universities and how they're really behind this effort. And I look to San Diego State where, where Alex is and many, uh, many universities between California and Virginia. It's, uh, uh -huh. it's an exciting time. And, and as you pointed out, I mean, it's not just US, it's around the world. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Thank you very much. And Thanks. have a wonderful day. Thank you again. Um, yeah. I want to, um, my job is as, as a podcast manager for Imagine, right? The theme of the conference is Imagine. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask now, I know Alex was very nice to all of you and he asked you easy questions. So, <laughs> oh. right, so he was, he, play, he played the good cop today. So I have, to, right. play, so I have to play the, the, the bad cop here. So, but the, first of all, before I get into my questions here, I want to congratulate you on behalf of ICSD on the award. Thank you. And, and we are, we're reading it out here, and I want to read it to give you credit for this. Virginia Tech received the Model Program Award from the United States Association for Small Business, which are partners of ours, and entrepreneurship, which is USASCI, during the 2022 USASCI Excellence in Entrepreneurship Awards held on January 8th. So this was very recent. Very recent. The, the award recognizes and this is the key two words here that I want to talk about. The award recognizes bold and innovative programs that make an impact in the field of entrepreneurship education with comprehensive, high quality educational programs that successfully train future generations of entrepreneurs. These words have been picked very carefully, but they exhibit the magnitude and excellence you have achieved. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, and you mentioned um, Amazon in Northern Virginia. We are very close to Northern Virginia. And even though this might be local news um, in Virginia, but for us, it's international, international news as well, because Amazon is a global leader and they have selected Virginia Tech to be their partners in this endeavor. And they're entrepreneurial leaders. So it seems that the stars are aligning that you win this award and also your partnership with Amazon. So here comes my difficult question. Oh. Okay, right. If you are sitting in a room with different international constituents, partners mm -hmm. of ours, right? And they ask you this question saying, we are not in Blacksburg. We are not where you are. We're in different parts of the world. And yet we are trying to create a program like yours, mm -hmm. right? Debbie, what can we start with? What are the single ingredients you say start with this and then build up what might that be what is the secret ingredients that you say you need to have these present to start putting together a program like this what might that be wow great question thank you thank you Ivan. yes it was it's, it's not an easy one to answer but I'll, I'll i'll get to it slowly now let me start with uh, what a school that may have something in entrepreneurship but very little and then can can go from there and then I will come back to say what 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 can schools that have fairly good program in entrepreneurship can do as well. So let me start with the basics. That is, um, uh, if if you remember the innovate living learning community, the freshman student room uh, uh, that I described, that is something that a lot of schools don't have, and some of them may have in different format. What that does, and we have realized is actually, and then obviously that was part of the original planning, but I've realized this myself, has to do with creating an excitement from high school students. And say, Virginia Tech has an innovate LLC that is an entrepreneurship centered living community where I can uh, 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 sort of play with my ideas, get critiqued, get suggestions, and then know whether or not it can be helpful. And then that first year experience, and they're there with 120 other students from around the mm -hmm. university in terms of different majors. So they get perspectives that they will face when they bring, come to customers. These students represent the variety of, of market segments, if you will. Uh, so that's a great start. That's where they, they safely practice their ideas and get critiqued. And then from there, once they're getting their kind of a hands and minds kind of into entrepreneurship, they can come to classes and take classes that will help them in that particular set of things that they will need, whether it's on the financial aspects or whether it's in the engineering and prototype aspects or whether it's in the market exploration aspects, whether it's taking the idea to a higher level in terms of exploration or anything like that. 
And then uh, they can get specialization if they want uh, the, the curricular aspects. If they don't want cur curricular aspects or they want to have a taste of it and move on, then they can get to the FX Center for Entrepreneurs in order to continuously work with the team and their guidance. So it, it starts with the basics, that's a freshman level program, and then it gets into academic and non-academic. And, and no matter where you are at Virginia Tech, you have the availability for, for a student to do. Yeah. So starting with the freshman program is, is a great way to start. And then, mm -hmm. and also linking with high schools, what we have been doing, actually, we're going to right. talk to, um, you perhaps know, um, um, the Thomas Jefferson High School in, in Northern Virginia, they do this uh, uh, entrepreneurship uh, uh, workshops in, in May. So now we're going to talk to them. They have invited us to talk to high school students who are aspiring entrepreneurs. So it has now gotten into high schools, Right. community colleges and things like that creating excitement for them to come to Virginia Tech or at least be entrepreneurial where you wherever you are and then you can go on to link license launch does something different um, that that I have, we have not talked link license launch is about linking corporations and and entrepreneurs and and, and the university obviously license is about taking Virginia Tech intellectual property and exploring that and moving on to uh, sort of a commercialization of the technology. Launch is about creating a business out of the IP or anything the, related. The IP, right. So link license launch work, works really well as a package of uh, um, uh, services available. So that Virginia Tech intellectual property, that is where the innovation side comes in. We talk most about entrepreneur innovation side as an intellectual property created. And then we have a system in place and an expertise in place for that innovation to be either taken by some of our mm -hmm. students or by, by uh, alumni and others or any corporate entity out there or have a startup coming coming out of that. So that's a, that's a great way to get into the widespread ecosystem of entrepreneurship and innovation. You know, I mean, we, but that, I mean, um, yeah. you know, so what I'm hearing from that, I'm in is, and then for our audience is, um, you know, get to start them early. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, the living learning community, it is an innovation um, that a number of schools have. We have it in San Diego mm -hmm. State too, um, because our philosophy like yours is to um, reach students early so that they can begin to see some of that potential because what you're seeing and what Debbie's describing here is if you can capture their interest early, yeah. they have a whole slew of academic and co-curricular activities that can grow as the student gets more acclimated right. into a community like this. And that I think is the message. Yeah. Yeah. And I also be happy to provide one important key mm -hmm. point. Yes. I have a many years in entrepreneurship yeah. development. The key point is that the strong support from university, from college, and from mm -hmm. department, especially uh, mm -hmm. maybe department heads, and also really, really strong uh, engagement from our uh, entrepreneurship mm -hmm. management mm -hmm. uh, colleagues, and that support students to start up their entrepreneurial mindset, design thinking, and future career. Right. I mean, isn't it amazing when we, I mean, you and I have done podcasts with people before, but when people are describing their program with the with the with the heart and with the enthusiasm that these two gentlemen are describing their program, uh, it energizes us, and um, uh, it's just exciting for us to be able to do something like this and hear about great programs around around the world. And today we stop at Virginia Tech in Blacksburg, Virginia. Yeah. And absolutely, this was an incredible answer, Debbie. Uh, really, you you set the, the north star of how of how to move it forward here, and with your leadership in the department, and as and and also mentioned here, it it is actually an ecosystem of everybody coming in. Yeah. She mentioned it as well. So we are we are delighted to have this podcast here, and we we look forward to more engagement. I know you all are coming to ICSB World Congress here. And a lot of people will be interested to learning about your program, be learning about the activities you're doing here and, and how they can work with you. That's the whole point is this collaboration aspect, which I think by inviting Alex to come exhibits your leadership and collaboration also 
paying, you know, respecting history, but look with an eye to the future, which mm -hmm. is, I think, an exceptional way of doing it here. So with that, I want to give you the last remarks, and I'll give it to Alex to close the podcast. Go ahead, Debbie. Why don't you give right. us your last, last remarks? remarks. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, 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 thank you, right. Ahmed. Uh, it, it is wonderful to, to uh, that you actually set us up with it, with the podcast. Really, truly appreciate. I know you are very busy, and the upcoming World Congress makes it really impossible for you to find time. And really appreciate finding this time and connecting us and having uh, giving us the opportunity to 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 lay out what we do. Um, and and uh, also wanted to thank thank um, ICSB uh, overall for actually allowing us the opportunity because we're going to send some of our faculty will attend. I will attend ICSB and we're going to send students to ICSB. It's it's happening in our doorstep, Washington D.C. So super excited about that. I also wanted to thank thank Alex, who is, who is really our distinguished alumnus, and I'm so thrilled that Alex is a world-class expert, and he does entrepreneurship lectures and workshops and executive education around the world. So wonderful to have you. Thank really you, appreciate it. And and Chi, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And and I will I will end with with the note. If somebody has a question about what we do, how we build the program, any aspect of the program please feel free to share our information as you put the podcast and we'll be happy to help anybody in the United States, anywhere in the world. And it will be our pleasure to actually work with others, like-minded individuals who want to uh, do better job in entrepreneurship education. Yeah, and Thanks. I would like to also explain my deep appreciation to Alex, Emman, and ICSB and also uh, David and our university. I think we will continue and do our best to make the contribution to the entrepreneurship that ICSB community. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. With that, Alex, I give it to you to end the podcast, the Imagine Podcast. I mean, I'm so energized being here and um, really looking forward to uh, coming to Washington DC for the World Conference and, and for the World Congress and uh, for our audience, uh, I believe these two gentlemen will be, will be there for, and, and would be happy to talk more about their program. So, Iman, thank you for having us, and um, we look forward to the next time. Thank you. Thank you for another exciting Imagine podcast here. I think people imagine what's the best place to be now for, for entrepreneurship. I think it's in Virginia Tech right now. So <laughs> we're, 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 we're very excited with that. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Take Thank care. You. Yeah.